First Samuel 12. Don't chase after ghost gods. Samuel addresses all Israel. I have listened to everything you said to me. Listen carefully to every word. And I have given you a king. See for yourself. Your king among you, leading you. But now look at me. I'm old and gray, and my sons are still here. I have led you faithfully from my youth until this very day. Look at me. Do you have any complaints to bring before God and his anointing? Have I ever stolen as much as an ox or, ox or a donkey? Have I ever taken advantage of you, exploited you? Have I ever taken a bribe or played fast and loose? <clears throat> With the law, bring your complaint and I'll make it right. Oh no, they said, never you've done You've never done any of that. Never abused us. Never lined your pockets. That settles it then, said Samuel. God is witness and his anointed is witness that you find nothing against me. No faults, no complaints. And the people said, He is witness. Sam Samuel continued, This is God who made Moses and Aaron your leaders and brought your ancestors out of Egypt. Take your stand before him now as I review your case before God. In the light of all the righteous ways in which God has worked with you and your ancestors. When Jacob's sons entered Egypt, the Egyptians made it made life hard for them and they cried out for help to God. God sent Moses and Aaron who led your ancestors out of Egypt and settled them here in this place. Then they forgot their God. So he sold them off to Sierra's commander of Hazar's army, later to a hard life under the Philistines, and still later to the king of Moab. They had to fight for their lives. Then they cried for help for God, to God. They confessed, we've sinned. We've gone off and left God and worshiped the fertility gods and goddesses of Canaan. Oh, deliver us from this brutalities of our enemies, and we'll worship you alone. So God sent Jerob Baral, Gideon, Beden, Barak, And Jep and Samuel, he saved you from that hard life surrounded by enemies and you lived in peace. But when you saw Nahash, king of the Am Ammonites, preparing to attack you, you said to me, 
no more of this. We want a king to lead us. And God was already your king. So here's the king you wanted. The king you asked for. God has let you have your own way. Giving you a king. If you fear God. Worship o worship and obey him. Don't rebel against him. Or what he tells you. If both of you and your king follow God, no problem. God will be sure to save you. But if you don't obey him and rebel against what he tells you, king or no king, you will fare no better than your fathers. Pay attention. Watch the wonder of God is going to do, to perform before you now. It's summer as well as well know as you well know and the rainy season is over but I'm going to pray to God he'll send thunder and rain a sign to convince you of the great wrong you have done to God by asking for a king Samuel prayed to God, and God sent thunder and rain that same day. The people were greatly afraid and in awe of God and Samuel. Then the people begged Samuel, pray to your God for us, your servants. Pray that we won't die. On top of all the other sins, we piled on one more, asking for a king. Samuel said to them, Don't be fearful. It's true that you have done something very wrong. All the same, don't turn your back on God. Worship and save him. heart and soul. Don't chase after ghost gods. There's nothing to them. They can't help you. They're nothing but ghost gods. God simply because of who he is is not going to walk off and leave his people. God took the light in making you into his very own people. And neither will I walk off and leave you. That would be a very, would be a sin against God. I am staying right here at my post praying for you and teaching you the good and the right way to live. But I beg of you, fear God and worship him honestly and healthy. We've seen how greatly he has worked among you. Be warned, if you live badly, both you and your king will be thrown out. Thank you for listening to this chapter. And God bless.